plastic bottles. We use them every day, whether it be for cleaning supplies, shampoo, or even conditioner. Now, two sisters are promoting sustainability with a new refillery in downtown Goshen. We always had a dream of a sister business. How many people can say that they opened a business with their sister? The shop is called the Green Bee Refillery. A refillery is a place where you can come and pay by the ounce to fill up on everyday products like self-care items. The process of using a refillery is simple. Kind of like back in the day when you got your milk delivered to your porch and then you use the milk and then you set that glass jar back out there, they took that one, left you a new one. It's just refilling the same container instead of throw it in the trash. It's the first of its kind in Goshen and was originally placed in Dunlap. I think it's awesome. Um, especially in little Goshen, Indiana. To be a part of that, it's just, it's really been an honor. With all the joy comes some fear. It's kind of scary, I mean, because we aren't in a big city. Brandy Nichols and Ashley Engelmeyer say that their love for reusing what they already had came from their shared interest of making art. I've always been a crazy crafter. And especially what it was in our mom's basement. I was spending a lot of time with her doing all these upcycled things, like she's hoarding trash. Like I've been hoarding <laughs> trash since I don't even know, since yeah. I was like five. <laughs> their passion for reusing has been passed on to their family and friends, and now the downtown Goshen community. They walk in the door and it's, hey, you know, you were here last week, what do you need now? And they're in for their dish soap refill. Engelmeyer stresses how childhood shapes views of sustainability. We think of recycling as being really important, but it's kind of like last on the list. Like we should be reducing first and then reusing and repurposing and all of these things before we recycle. According to Johnson & Johnson, 552 million shampoo bottles end up in landfills every day in the United States. Nichols says that we're all in the reusing process together. I have to like tell myself sometimes that I can't do all of it. Like there are, are things that it's going to take time. The Green Bee has been making a buzz on Facebook where they've garnered 1,000 likes and 1.2 thousand followers while in their short time being open in Goshen. You can find us at thegreenbee22.com or you can find us, our handle on Facebook and Instagram is thegreenbee22. If you're looking to get rid of your used plastic and glass containers, the Green Bee will gladly take them and give them to the next customer to reuse. Reporting for Globe News, I'm Amelia Lee.